Hey everyone, it's Glenn from StellarAffiliates.com and thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add an affiliate link to your website using RecruitandLinkShare.com Affiliate Network. I'm not going to miss out on any steps so that complete beginners can follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks very much, now let's get started. Okay, so what you can see here is my website, exclusive decor for your home. So if you have a WordPress website, I've just gone into the back end. So we'll be able to go into the dashboard to add those affiliate links. Now, if you're not familiar with LinkShare, all you need to do is Google search LinkShare and the first result will come up. Click on the first result and you'll need to join as a publisher. So you can see here, top page says publisher services. Just click on that, scroll a fraction, and it says membership is free, join now. So all you'll do is you'll click join now and fill in the details. And yeah, you should become an affiliate for Recruit and Linkshare, which has many, many advertisers. If you are already a affiliate of Linkshare, then you'll be familiar with this page. So this is just my home page. I've logged in and it's taken me to my home page. So what we need to do is we need to go down and grab some links. So I'm going to utilize some of the advertisers I've got here. Um, I'll go into Hudson Reed. So straight away, just gives me a bit of information from Hudson Reed as to what they have to offer. Now I want to grab a temp I want to grab a text link and a banner and add it to my site. Now you can see there you can read down. It gives you some good information: their commission rates and who to contact as their affiliate manager. So I need to go to links. So I'll select links. It then gives me an option of my link types. So I'll run through how to insert a text link and how to insert a banner link. So to the text link first. So you can see here they've only got one. Makes it pretty easy to choose from. <laughs> so it's a Hudson Reed link and it's a coupon code for 5% on orders over 300. So we'll grab that one. So as you can see across here, it says get link. It also has an expiry date and a start date. So it expires at the end of 2015, which is of course this year. So I'll select get link. So this is the example of the link that will appear on your website. It says 5% discount on orders over $300. Simply quote HR105 at checkout. So people will click on that when they visit your website and that will take them to the Hudson Reed website. And if they purchase anything over $300, they'll get 5% discount quoting that at the checkout. Now one important step before I copy this link code, which is a HTML code, I need to select this box, open link in a new window. So I would prefer the link to open in a new window than open over my website because then the person that's visited your website may not know how to get back to your website after they've visited the Hudson Reed website. So then you've lost that visitor and they would, yeah, if they find you again, then great. But yeah, for the time being, you've lost them. So you want to open it in a new window. So I've done that. It updates automatically. I'll highlight that code, right click, copy, a text link, not email, we're doing text link on our website. So I've done that. I will go back to my tab for my website. So now in my website, as you're familiar, this is WordPress. I'll go to my dashboard. So I want to be able to add this to one of my pages. So let's just go to pages. And let's just pick a page. So in this instance, um, 
let's pick the front page. So it says front page, so I'll just select the front page. Okay, so we're viewing the text code on the page. I'll go to where my heading is, and I will just enter down a couple of spaces. And now I'll paste. So that's the code for that text link. So inside that code, you will see here that I've highlighted what the actual wording will appear on the website. 5% discount on orders over 300. Simply quote HR105 at checkout. So that's inside the code. So that's what will appear on our website. And this code will make it happen. Now I need to save the changes I've just made by going update. And then I'll go up to view page and I'll view the page. So it's taken me to that page. This is the home page. And as you can see there, here it is. 5% discount on orders over 300. Simply quote HR105 at checkout. So that's the text link. Now I can add that anywhere I want into my website. So it doesn't have to be on the front page, it can be on another page. I can include that in the text here. So it doesn't matter where I put it, I can put it anywhere I want. I've just put it there as an example for today's purpose. Now, if I select that text link, if you remember, we asked it to open in a new window. So here it is here, it's opened in a new window or a new tab. So once it opens, will be on the Hudson Reed website. So that means that I can then, or someone that's looking through your website can peruse this website and then go back to your website, which is here, and still look around. So you haven't lost your customer or your visitor. They can still find your website because it's still there. Yeah, so we're just waiting for that to load. So I'll wait for that to load. Internet must be a little slow. So we're back on Link Share now. So this time we will go and we'll get a banner. So what we need to do is we need to go to Links. And let's choose a different one this time. Let's go Parrot Uncle. So what we'll do is we'll click on Parrot Uncle. And that will take us to an overview of who they are. wait for this internet connection to come through. It has something to do with that text link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that text link so it doesn't slow us down. And if need be, we'll come back and we'll add another text link in so I can show you. But um, it hasn't shown up yet, so it could be an issue with Hudson Reed. Ah, there you go. Just the internet. So here it is here. So this is the text link. So from the website, that's the text link, just there. So it's loaded up and now as a customer of my website, people will click on that text link and it takes them to the Hudson Reed website where they can go around and shop and then purchase, do what they want and it's not going to take them away from my website. They can still go back to my website and look around for other things, other information. Okay, so back at Link Share. We're now at Parrot Uncle. So we're after a banner this time. So you see, once again, we've got the description, the program details. So that's good to look at the commission that you get and the cookie period. So it's good information that you've got there. A um, bit of creative that they've put there as well. So there's some of the banners that Parrot Uncle has. Average orders are 400, so that's pretty good. It looks like it's a good program. So let's go to links again, so we want links. 
So you can see they've got five text links and they've got 69 banners. So this time we don't want the text link, we want the banner link. So we'll click on the 69. And you can see here all the different banners to choose from. So you can select whatever banner you want. It's just a matter of scrolling down, having a look, seeing what might fit within your website. Okay. You can also choose the size. So you can go to filter. And you can have a look banner images and you can choose the size. So if I just want a leaderboard, which is a 728 by 90, I can click on that and I can go apply filter. Now that will just give me those banners. So rather than choose the six through, rather than scroll through the 69 banners that are available, if I am specifically looking for that size banner, then here they are, there's four to choose from. So in this instance, I am looking for that. So I've got four to choose from. Out of all these four, yeah, I think this one's pretty good. Save up to $155 and a free gift. So yeah. I reckon that's that will fit well. So what I will do, like with the text link, I'll go across to get link. And there's a HTML code again. That's what I want to put into the back end of my website. So it tells you the banner there. Once again, I need to click the open link in the new window. So select that. Updates the code. I will highlight the code. Copy. And I'll go back to my website, exclusive take off for your home. So this time I might put it in my middle page, designing a living room. Uh, good bulbs are important in the living room, so I might put it in here. So what I'll do is I'll edit, so you see it says edit there, or it has edit page at the top, wherever you want to select the edit. So I'll select edit, and I want to put it at the top of my page. So there's my heading. Enter down twice and paste. So paste that in there. So what I need to do is once again update. So save what I've just done. And now view my page. So straight away you can see there, save up to $155, free gift, six Edison bulbs. So that's pretty good. So if I select this banner, it opens up into a new website, a new window. There we go, Parrot Uncle. So my website is still there. So people can come back to my website and keep reading and keep looking. And if they see something else like, yeah, I want to buy a piece of art for my living room, then they can still select Saatchi Art or do whatever they want to do on my website. I haven't lost the visitor from my website. And the visitor from my website can still peruse and look around Parrot Uncle's website and purchase if they choose to. So they can go through the checkout, make a purchase, and I then get the commission for that purchase, and they can come back to my website and still look and purchase, or find more info, or get a free report, or whatever it may be that they want. Follow me on Facebook, whatever. So that's it. So we've covered off how to add a banner to your website and how to add a text link to your website. So I hope that information has been helpful. Um, please visit me at stellaraffiliates.com and if you have any comments or questions, please post them at the bottom. Thanks very much for listening.